peeling that tire up off the wheel. Got another day underneath the carport. I've had a number of people ask me to do a video on this. This is my manual tire changer where I'm able to fix my own flats because as a lot of you know I pull a dump trailer around and the tires on that trailer are nail magnets. So I fix my own flats. This piece here is obviously a I've got it set up just for eight lug trailer wheels so it won't work on my eight lug truck wheels. This, the trailer is the only thing I have a lot of flats on. That's welded to a plate. A couple other piece braces underneath it. These two pieces here are two inch square by like eighth inch. The other part here, I'll put that down. Goes in the center. It is completely adjustable, back and forth, up and down. And it's got what's called a duck bill. But you all show you how that works here shortly. I designed it where it'll fit in any two inch receiver hitch. Front or back of the truck. Go down in the center. Said this is completely adjustable. So you put the wheel up here, that two lug nuts going to go on and hold it. Duck wheel back in. You put these in. Got a slot grooved in here, goes in between the tire and the wheel. Get where it's in there where it needs to be. Tighten up the top adjustment. Also tighten up the tuck bill adjustment. Doesn't need to be super tight or anything. Just don't want to slide around on you. Let's see. About right here. Put a little slime on here to help the slime a little easier when it's coming off. You'll also want to get a couple of tire spoons. Now to get this started, you go down, you're going after the top lip, that bead, push down on the other side of the tire. Pull this one off. I use about uh, what is six and a half foot steel bar. Two pieces and my truck is there we go. Pull it up right it. here with your tire spoon. Now we're going over the top of this. If it goes correctly, it goes on around, peeling that tire up off the wheel. Slide. This one do the same way. 
go down except for you're trying to grab the bottom. Backside tire. Bring it up. As you can see right here is where the spoon's got a hold of it. And we're gonna pull it and do the same thing. Bar. a lot easier than it is taking it off. Be sure to slime the bead or slick it. And all this piece is here, what I've done here, a piece of square tubing that fits over the two inch, welds it a nut, bolt goes in, hits that one. The duck bill, same difference. Tube goes through the square tubing, got a nut welded on there, it's just tightened up against the bar. You put that on, you want to get it started as far as you can. The bead's going to go underneath this part of the duck bill. Bar. Put weight down with your elbow. That's going to hold this bead from sliding around with it. We're not trying to put the top one on, just the bottom. this side down as far as you can put your elbow on it I'm sure you've seen other videos where they have some fancy little clamp that they clamp onto their wheel to do the same thing your elbow can do Hold there. Out cores in, now we can finish airing it up. Remove the lug nuts. Any questions, comments? Please leave them down below. We have more of this stuff coming. Like, subscribe. Thanks for watching.